What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're taking a first look at a brand new game that's coming out on July 23rd on Steam. Link is in the description down below. Automo Chef. If you're a big fan of things like Factorio and Satisfactory and all those conveyor belt games that kind of move from one thing onto another thing like uh, Big Pharma making making your uh, prescription drugs but we're like a big conveyor belt factory kind of system. So we're mixing a little bit of like Satisfactory with Cooking Simulator. We're making an autonomous kitchen. All the robots will cook our food. It's the future, but today. So, in different kinds of modes that you can uh, knock out, there's a test set where you can mess around with some builds, some uh, different recipes, things along those lines. Scenario editor, which is not currently available. We have a campaign mode, which will allow you to go into different scenarios. And then there's a contracts mode. Mods will be coming soon where for people that want to make their own little uh, autonomous machines. I think it's going to be fantastic. Looking forward to Automa Chef, man. Looking nice. So, I'm going to hop into contracts mode. I'll show you what it's all about. New contracts mode. Slots remaining. Five. Okay, thank you. Company name. Hmm. Stink Finger Deluxe. Aw, oh, boo. Okay. Mistakes have been made. How about Diesel's Diner? Adorable. Are these my like logos? This is all I have to choose for? I think we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll use that one. All right. Yeah, there are no active contracts. Check the inbox tab. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. So, as you can see, recipes we have chicken wings, french fries, looks like there's some more fries, some cheeseburgers, the feed bag. Gross. Plain burger, french fries, hot dog, and it's like a salad. And then we have the feed bag here. Which it looks like a salad and a cheeseburger. Now we have different things, but we'll, they'll pay us $64,000. Efficiency bonus, six grand. And efficiency target, 53%. Hmm. Deliver 30 dishes, deliver a meal to a food critic, use 200 ingredients or fewer. Select difficulty, we'll keep it on medium. I'm gonna try this one first, man. We'll make cheeseburgers and a salad. Why not? Let's start. Hey. Now, the contracts mode kind of allows you to make whatever restaurant that you wanna make uh, without having to go through any kind of scenarios. And we can go ahead and start. Okay, so it doesn't give us a whole lot of room, but that's fine. So we're gonna have to get an assembler. And we're gonna pop it there. Now the recipes, I'll put in here. Wow, we got to get three different things and then, oh, so three different things goes into the assembler. Ooh, that should be too hard because we could just use one conveyor belt. Gotcha. Recipes for cheeseburger. These are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easy here. So let's check it out. So we're going to need some buns and we're going to need cheese, please. So let's get a little cheese action and bun action. Yes, so this is going to take care of cheeseburgers. Finish this left side, yep, 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 yep. This one's going to be for cheese. Hit okay. Click on this, this is going to be the burger bun. Fantastic. Now we need ourselves a food processor to slice up the cheese. Oh yeah, ha <laughs> ha, oh yeah. Now actually I'm gonna move this back. And we'll get ourselves a conveyor belt. Boop. And we're gonna need ourselves a robotic arm dumb. He likes to be called that, don't worry about it. Nice. Now dispenser. This is really gonna have to be compact for sure. We'll need an electric grill to cook. And we're gonna need a dumb arm <clears throat> to put onto the grill. Man, that's a rough spot. Let me put this over to a raw patty. And then this is going to be selected to pick up cooked patty. So this is going to pick up the cheese and the buns. 
This is going to pick up all just the cooked patties to put it into the assembler. You will need to have... These robotic arms in order for you to be able to actually complete the job. Um, so we need another assembler. Okay. I got a real compact in here. So we got the raw patties that are coming from there. They're going to hop onto this grill. The smart arm is going to take the burger patty from the grill and put it into the assembler. Uh, the bun's going to go into this conveyor belt here. Cheese is going to go to that conveyor belt. They could be on the same conveyor belt because they just they don't need to be cooked. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to pop out the left hand side and then be served. Then we have carrots, lettuce, tomato. They could all be in the same conveyor belt system. Now, the conveyors use electricity. It's a bummer, I know. But we're going to do one last thing and we're going to get two order readers. What do those do, Diesel? Well, what we'll do is we'll pick cheeseburger and connection. So now, we'll click on you to the cheese, do nothing until this is ordered. So this is not going to dispense. Now, if we don't do this, all the different dispensers are going to dispense it whenever they want. And they're just going to create waste. And you don't want waste. Waste not one, not kids. Uh, let's see. Right here for burgers. Burger buns. We'll do this, do nothing once, no, perform action. We're gonna connect a new part here over to the raw patties. Same thing, not three, but one, hit okay. And, whoa, whoa, put that there. Connect the new part over to this section. Oh, actually, hold on, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Delete this, select a new part, and we're gonna put it to the grill. And then on while an order is pending. So that way it's turn it off until someone orders a cheeseburger. Then it'll pop on until someone orders a cheeseburger again. Then we grab this jam over here. My man, nice, nice, side salad. And we'll just need to connect these parts. What you gotta do is hit the recipe and then this has to be shredded and sliced, which I'm not doing. So let's go ahead and add a food processor. Now that should slice everything up all kinds of nuts. This should be all 100% now. So we have our cheese getting put in through a food processor that's right there. I could tend, uh, no I couldn't. So we need a food processor just to slice the cheese. Cheese goes over to here. The buns come out of this one here. So both the cheese and the buns will hop on this one conveyor belt. This one dumb arm will pick them up, put in this assembler for cheeseburgers. We'll have the raw patties getting picked up by this dumb arm here onto the grill. Smart arm will pull the grill patty, uh, cook patties off the grill, throw them in the assembler, and then this dumb arm will just grab the cheeseburger, pop it on there. And I like that when you move these around, like even after you connect them up with all the spaghetti spider webs of wires, that uh, whenever you move it, it still stays, uh, stays attached, connected. You don't have to constantly move around and then reconnect them. It's kind of nice. So we also have our carrots, our tomatoes, and our lettuce. Uh, these have to be sliced up according to the recipe. So lettuce, tomato, carrot, shredded lettuce, tomato slice, carrot slices. In an assembler, that makes a side salad. So it should go true there. Side salad pops out of here. Cheeseburgers pop out of there. And all the humans are fed. Fed by robots. Right now our power usage because of the food processors going on is 3750 megawatts of conveyors and the food processes. And then when it turns on, watch this. Boom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It goes up to 16,000 watts. So we had everything sliced up from the tomatoes, the carrots. How did that carrot get there? I do not know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Look at all these orders coming in. Cheeseburgers out, side salad number two, bang. On point, on point, reputation's 100%. Ingredients used, 18, so we can't go over 200 ingredients? Really? Well, that's good, I suppose. I think we're being pretty efficient, though. I mean, we have almost every single piece, <laughs> every single cube used in this tiny little space. 
I dig it though. Check out the, uh, the raw patties cooked. Second, it's cooked. Hey, I picked it up. I put it in you. I can't wait to see what the mods are going to look like. Aha! So it went to 42 dishes. I kind of sped it up a little bit and it just automatically hit like, hey, <laughs> you got it, buddy. Hey, hey. So money spent. $45,000 ingredients used 126 out of 200. Beautiful. Energy used 994 watts. Our efficiency was 95%. We were 95% efficient. It's beautiful. 40 uh, meals delivered. Submit my design. There you go. Submit design to client. You can submit this current kitchen layout to the client now. Here is a summary of the expenses, income, and reputation changes your company will have uh, if you proceed. Boom. Pay me! <laughs> Feeling too good, baby. My business. The feed bag. The heartburns. Dine and dash. The happy Groger. Require reputation. Okay, I suppose. Machines. Aha! So this is where we can go ahead and unlock different kinds of machines to move us in and out. To and fro. Use your funds to unlock better machinery that can be used in your kitchen designs. Assemblers. This is what we need. This is what we need. Something little dual dual wheeled assembler advanced cost to unlock twenty grand unit cost ten. Yeah, but like, what does it do? Assembler advanced a packaging machine. Right again. Need more info. Need more things. Storage unit. Storage unit large. Large. Oh. AC-16 computer? Counting machine? What? All sorts of stuff. I don't even know what it... <laughs> what does it all do? What does it all mean? Oh, convection fryer, convention grill, or conveyor grill. Ooh, that would be clutch. We wouldn't need smart arms. We just keep everything dumb. <laughs> hey. Transports, conveyors... A teleporter? What? Robotic arm long? Gets all the ladies. Robotic arm stacking, cost to unlock. Hmm. 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 Back. There we go. Now we got a lot of recipes now. Oof. It's getting up there. Got cheeseburger. Use 375 ingredients or fewer. Looks like we got side salads, hot dogs, a little bit more space, but nothing crazy. I'll tell you what, let's check out heartburns. It's my kind of food. We got a cheeseburger, looks like hot wings, french fries, and whatever those fries are on the bottom left. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I think I've got it down, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'm not 100%. So I have three different, uh, three different uh, order takers order readers we have our cheeseburger section set up with the raw patties and they're gonna get picked up and put into the assembler but then the buns are gonna get picked up and thrown into the assembler but our sliced cheese we have two different things that we have to do with sliced cheese one the sliced cheese has to be sliced for the cheeseburgers obviously but for our bacon fries our bacon fries requires grated cheese so if we check out the recipe for bacon fries we got cheese, slice it up, and then we got to slice it up again. So, we have a second food processor. So, this is actually, this arm, this smart arm, is only going to pick up the second slices that are pushed out. Which is kind of a flaw. This is really the only flaw that I have going on. Well, actually, that's a lie. There's two flaws. But, it goes from grated cheese, and then that grated cheese will go through here. And in order to get through this, you have to unlock the packaging machine. Because the pack packaging machine packages up all your bacon fries and your regular fries. And also, whoa, 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 your fried chicken. And then serves it out. I can only assume since it's a, it's a conveyor belt that it'll just conveyor in and, and uh, package it up. I can only assume. I haven't tried it. But uh, also with the cheese, it'll get grated. We we'll go through here, processed. We also have bacon. Bacon will get put onto here, make it nice and crispy. The crispy bacon will then be put on to this conveyor belt into the packaging machine. And then we have over here, 
potato dispenser through. It'll make a, make nice slices. This arm will then put it into this fryer. And then we'll get picked up out of this fryer with french fries. And then the french fries get put into there. Now the french fries are doubling up because... We have french fries and we have regular bacon fries. So we can have two orders. The french fries are just simple old, shredded up, put them in the fryer later, throw them in there. So this is going to have some busy things to try and figure out whether or not it's going to be regular fries and or bacon fries. Got lots of things. That's <laughs> a lot of, lot of stuff happening. Uh, over here we have sliced bread, an egg, uh, and a chicken, raw chicken dispenser. That has to be food processed and then put into an assembler in order to make breaded chicken. Then that bread and chicken gets picked up, put into the fryer later, smart arm picks it out. Once it's done, puts on the conveyor belt, packages it up, dishes it out. Now, the other problem that I have here is with bacon fries because this one dispenser controls the cheese. You can't put multiple orders on, on cheese. It's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. It really is. So... That's where we could be th could be thrown into the mix. But let's go ahead and we'll start it. I don't know how well it's going to go. Our power usage is something crazy. Ingredients used one. Um, excuse me? There's no orders? What are, what are you doing? Uh-huh. Oh, perform action one time. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. And let's see how these orders are going to roll through. It's actually kind of nerve-wracking. Now, I also have the order readers to turn off the fryers and the grills until there's an order that is placed. So hopefully... All right, we got someone who's... Someone who's hungry. All right. It's getting sliced up. Thrown in there. We got bacon fries coming through, y'all. Bacon. I get pushed into there. Chicken. Breaded chicken piece has salmonella. Salmonella, excuse me. Oh no! Look at all this, all this grossness. Oh, that's not cool. Ah, when the bacon fries are ordered, this isn't triggered. We may need to get another cheese. Yeah, we'll probably have to get another cheese slicer. That's what it, that's what the problem is. All right, let's stop it. Let's stop it. Plus, we have salmonella in here, and that's gross. Okay, so we've had to order uh, another line, pretty much. Just this is going to take care of all of the regular French fries, and it's going to take care of packaging up the fried chicken. It's all going to be on the same line. The bacon will get its bacon cheese fries is going to get its own things. Bacon fries. We got cheese. It's going to get grated. Sliced. Grated. Thrown into this jaw here. This bacon will come out. Everything will be good. The potato will come out uh, sliced. Sliced wedges. Throw them in there. And boom. You should be all set. See, so fried potato wedges. After the fried potato wedges are going to get yanked out and assembled through here. And it's only going to take care of bacon fries, while this is going to take care of fried chicken and fries. I think we got it now. Now, as far as its efficiency, it is your trash. No, um, let's see. Maybe I can get, since this is the bacon, no, this is the fried chicken, okay. Bacon one. Frymatic dispenses cheese now. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. It's still going to be expensive on the electricity. And I've spent $92,000. It's pretty awful. But let's try it again. There's a lot of stuff going on here, bro. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of things. Come on. Anybody hungry? They are. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, we got bacon fries. The salmonella hopefully will be uh, not a thing anymore. I think it, I think we figured it out, kids. Okay. There we go. 
Come on, bacon fries. Yes! Fried chickens out the door. More fried chicken out the door. French fries. They're all going in here. Cheeseburgers are getting delivered as well. Oh, on point. The fried chicken could be a little faster. Got a lot of orders for fried chicken. Still, we have a bunch of salmonella. But it's not contaminating anything else. It's just contaminating this one specific area, which I completely understand because it's gross. I could probably move this in and get rid of that conveyor belt to uh, give it less electricity. It's not 100% efficient. But we're putting orders out. 34,000 watts. It's a lot of robots, bro. A lot of robots. Now, as far as rush hour is concerned, let's go ahead and speed this up. Look at all these machines going. So busy now. Still zero rush hour dishes delivered, but it is cranking out the jams. Oh, we got the rush hour people. Apparently, they're lit up by this icon. Nice, nice. We're going nuts. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. Energy used, way too much. Money spent, again, way too much. Meals failed, zero. Good. Efficiency, 74%. I shall submit that design. Money spent, 92 grand. Payment, 128. So our net result, we made a 44 grand. Plus 10% in reputation change. Hey, we're making cash, shall we? We're making all kinds of dough. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you'd like to see me uh, go ahead and keep on playing this. Because I am going to throw a couple more episodes out there and see how efficient we can make our kitchen. But folks, that's going to be it for some today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out like shout y'all. And I'm going to check you out right here again in Automachef next time.